The sight of these bees swarming may cause your skin to crawl. They've lived in this tree on Palmer Avenue, neighbors say, for about a year, and in that time, they've practically taken over. You can't even sit out, enjoy, enjoy your life outside in the sun, on your own porch, without getting scared that you're going to get attacked. Jennifer Howell says kids and adults alike don't just walk along her road. As they get closer to this tree, they take off running. Her neighbor Joey Jones, wary of specialists who have been unable to rid the area of this pesky problem, attempted to get rid of the bees himself, and he has the war wounds to prove it. That is a bee sting right there. I worry more about a child running over there to the tree playing and not realizing that they're there, and it would be devastating on a child. Pest control expert John Cooksey with McCall Services warns these Africanized bees should not be taken lightly. He says for those who live nearby, their best bet is to run inside if attacked. Africanized bees or killer bees are a major problem in the state of Florida, mm -hmm. and the best way to deal with them is just to eradicate them. On a fixed income and confined to a wheelchair, Howell says she feels stuck, forced to face these busy bees and their ferocious sting on a daily basis. One time, and one day, he got stung 18 times when my daughter had a full stinger out of his face. Concerned for their safety, with the killer bees in sight, Cooksey decided to offer his services free of charge.